Captain Eddie of the Conk Republic Navy, Conk Long Corps, here to welcome you to the fabulous Florida Keys and Key West, which is the Conk Republic. <laughs> Neighbors of Key West, welcome. Yeah, welcome to another stage recognition of what's going on down here at the Truman Waterfront, and it's certainly a beautiful day. I'm going to start off by asking Father Baker from St. Mary's Basilica to offer an invocation. Let us pray. Lord God, yours is the earth and all that is in it. And in your goodness, you have entrusted it to our care to provide us with food, shelter, and an environment to dwell together as your people. We ask you to bless this place today. May it be a place where the beauty of your creation is seen with gratitude and awe, and joy may be celebrated among those who are young. Bless all who labor to bring to fruition the plans for this park, and God bless the Topino family and company for providing an Easter egg hunt in addition to a park. We make this prayer to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father Baker. I'd like to welcome our mayor and our commissioners here today, and our first speaker today, and needs no introduction, but I'm going to anyway, the mayor of the city of Key West, Craig Cates. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And kids, I'll be as fast as possible because I know they're ready to go have some fun, but this is too important a day for us not to recognize a few people and say a few words. I want to thank everyone for being here today. This is a wonderful day for Key West. The people of Key West have been waiting over 20 years to enjoy this piece of land. I'm proud to say that I was part of several city commissions who had some forward thinking and motivated members. They got on board with a concept that made, and made it a reality. They worked with our Truman Waterfront Advisory Board and the citizens of Key West to make this park a reality. They passed the resolutions we needed to, to save money for years and in the budget and then worked together to make this day possible. I'm proud as I was able to serve with those that made it happen and our citizens. Our community deserves this beautiful park. I have a few people to thank before we cut this ribbon. I'd like to start by thanking the United States Navy for their partnership. Thank you to all the past Key West Naval Air Station captains, past present Captain Bobby Baker for working through with the city in this long process. And a special thank you to former NAS Captain Steve McElerney, who when we were faced with challenges just before the final approval and when we and just before the final approval with setbacks on easements, ingress and egress issues, Steve excelled as a leader. He sat there with city staff, the city attorney, and made decisions which allowed this process to move forward through the final approval. Thank you to all the past and present city commission members who voted to build a park at Truman Waterfront. From previous commissioners Bill Verge, Dan Coolidge, Harry Bethel, Jose Menendez, and past mayor Morgan McPherson. They had a vision of this new park and to the commissioners that voted to save the money to build the park and start the construction. Commissioners Barry Gibson, Mark Rossi, Terry Johnston, and Tony Annis were among those past members and the present commission who agreed this was something the citizens wanted and needed. It is because of your commitment to the citizens you, re you represent that today we can share this world-class, multi-generational park with the people of Key West. Thank you to city staff, city manager Jim Scholl, assistant city manager Greg Velez, engineering director Jim Bouquet, and Gary Volanek for the city of Key West engineering team. In effort, they put a significant effort into support the construction of the park and implement ideas that would enhance the public's experience and ease maintenance of for community services. Thank you to our construction manager, Creed Howell, who oversaw, and, and Terry Justice, who oversaw the construction for the city of Key West. And thank you to community services that prepared the park for this very special day. Thank you to all the past and present members of the Truman Waterfront 
advisory board. I see Jim Gillerin out there, all your members have made been, done an incredible job here to make this possible. And for their diligence and patience. In all of this time, you never gave up and you stayed focused. We all worked together to develop a master plan that made this day possible. Thank you to the public for attending workshops and meetings, for giving your input and contributing to the conceptual design of the park. This was a real community effort. This is the biggest construction and development project Key West has ever taken on. It is the largest budget and the largest land area. However, we were able to be frugal with, and move forward and save money to do this project. We saved over $2 million a year in the Truman Waterfront account and that allowed us to build this park and amphitheater without borrowing any money. The last, and last but not least, thank you to Charlie Capino and Sons for building this beautiful park. They are very proud to be chosen to build this awesome park in their hometown and it shows in their attention to detail. This park will be enjoyed by the community for generations to come. We will also want to thank the Topino family for sponsoring these Easter egg hunt and refreshments that these kids are so ready to get involved in. So today we can start to enjoy phase one of the Truman Waterfront Park. Let us all stand proud in having been a part of the team that worked a wonderful idea and made it a reality. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And as the mayor mentioned, it was it was quite a, uh, an effort to get here, and we've got a couple commissioners that uh, were around for a very big part of this. So I'd like to invite uh, Commissioner Jimmy Weekly to come up. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Craig. Nice, nice words. Um, you know, as the longest serving member of the City Commission, I can remember when this used to be the old, <laughs> um, the old Navy base with the, with the uh, submarines out here and the uh, escorts that they, that they had growing up as a kid. I remember seeing all of that. And uh, during the BRAC process, when we saw the opportunity that there was a possibility for the city of Key West to obtain this property, we started a series of meetings, what we called charrettes, to kind of get a community feel for what we ought to do with the property that we were going to be given by the, by the U.S. government. And today, we see what the community wanted, and this is what the city of Key West built. I want to thank the Topino family as well for everything that they've done, the hoops they had to jump through, the working with city staff to make sure that the park uh, was completed on time, and we can see the results of this. You know, every day this past week, once the notice was made that the, they were having the grand opening of this park, the residents of the Truman Annex were coming to me and saying what a fabulous job the city of Key West did in this, in this park. It is a compliment to the residents and to our visitors and to everyone that we have what is another jewel in the crown of our community. So again, I want to thank all of those that have been involved in putting this together and all of those that had the foresight and the stamina to be able to continue and work toward this goal on this day. This is the first phase. There's another phase to come. And just think, once that is all done, this will become our Central Park for the city of Key West. Thank you all. Have a good day. Happy Easter. Thank you, Commissioner. Now, another one of our commissioners and our current vice mayor, whose property, uh, whose district abuts the park here, has also been involved with us for quite a long time. So, Commissioner Clayton Lopez, District 6. Wow, what a wonderful day, eh? A lot of years, a lot of people, a lot of good work has brought us to this day. I want to add my voice to those who, give, who gave thanks to the many for the much, for all of this. I want to thank the Topinos 
for their for their contribution to so much in our city, but especially today for what they've done in this in this particular effort. Thank you so much. This is merely one more step toward the future for our children and our grandchildren. And yes, this is only the first step. First and foremost, I want to thank God, though. The Honorary Comp Certificate actually says that we are a thrice-blessed land. But the Bible takes that a step farther and talks about doing good and how doing good will net you seven times seven blessings. Well, I think that today we can say that we have done good. That makes this ribbon cutting on this, on this day, in the Holy Week, that much more special. So to our citizens, my colleagues, staff, past and present, thank you for this is good. I'm glad to be a part of it. I thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. But even more glad just to be here to be able to see it. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. I think we found the patience limit for the uh, kids. All right. Commissioner Billy Wardlow is here from District 3. Well, I just want to welcome everybody here to this beautiful day in this park. Uh, I want to thank, just like everybody else has done, the Topinos. The youngest Topino here today, Richard, I believe, is, he's been here working his butt off to get this thing done. And everybody else, I really, really want to thank our, our community service folks that are going to be maintaining the park. They have a lot to do out here, and there's a lot of work to be done. So, uh, Trey, you can come back here. <laughs> but um, we just need, uh, you know, cooperation from the city. And I also see another Topino back there in the back, Paul Topino, that I'd like to say thank you to that nobody has recognized. But um, to all of us, let's enjoy the park. The kids are already starting to enjoy it. And let's turn on the water. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Richard Payne from District 4. Good afternoon. Uh, a poet once said many, many years ago uh, that in our play we reveal what kind of people we are and how true this statement is. Our city is dedicating today a playground that we constructed for children at our waterfront park, a place where children can frolic and play for years to come. This playground tells the world that we are in in this southernmost city want children to be able to come to this beautiful park and like us adults share in the enjoyment of this scenic place by being able to have fun with that resultant fun and laughter on display for all to see and enjoy as well yes this playground truly tells the world what kind of people we are I'm proud to have been a small part of this and thank all who made this possible through their vision efforts and dollars. I have one word for me to say and that is well done. Thank you Judge. And from District 5, Commissioner Margaret Romero. I think everyone has already been thanked but nobody yet has thanked the citizens. So thank all of you for being here today. Thank you for taking part in this and bringing the kids and the grandkids and everyone else. So let's get on with it and get it doing the part. Thank you, Commissioner. I need to personally thank Mr. Frank and Edward. You know, the Topino family have been a great partner with the city for a very long time. And in my prior life with the Navy, great partners. So thank you both. I'm going to invite Richard to come up and speak on behalf of the contractors and Topino.
<clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the grand opening of the Truman Waterfront Park Phase 1 and 2. This is a great day to celebrate the accomplishments of many people who have made this park a success. First, I'd like to thank Mayor Craig Cates, past and present City Commissioner, who worked diligently on seeing this project forward. The City has been developing a plan here for Truman Waterfront Park since the early 2000s. Today, we are at a milestone in that accomplishment. Also, I'd like to thank the United States Navy for their conveyance of this property to the city. Without their foresight and generosity, this project never would have happened. I would like to thank the city of Key West, especially the engineering department, in particular Gary Jim Bouquet, Gary Volnack, Terry Justice, for their unparalleled and professional work ethic. The architects, Bermello and Associates, for designing this park. This is a beautiful addition to our community. We would also like to recognize the Truman Waterfront Advisory Board, past and present members, for their eye on detail in helping to make this park a reality. I would also like to thank our local Keys utilities, such as the Florida Keys Aqueduct Authority, Keys Energy, for their hard work and professionalism in solving the issue. Now comes with great, great pleasure to me uh, to introduce our team at Charlie Tapino and Sons. This has been a, comforty, a company effort to achieve what we are seeing here today. Every division of CTNS had a hand in making this park a reality. I would also like to give thanks to Frank and Edward for showing us wisdom and guidance. Our team leaders, Leo Montiel and Jeff Burnham, their team has gone over and above to ensure safety, integrity, and the success of this park. You have made our family very proud today. I would also like to mention Andy, Andy Fraley who started this job. She was a true professional. We would like to thank and recognize our subcontractors as well, Florida Keys Electric, Blue Island Irrigation, Ecoscapes, Island Pools and Spas, Gary's Plumbing, Bella Concrete, General Asphalt, Compact Filtration. We, we thank you very much for your hard work on this park. In closing, thank you for being here today and enjoy this park. I think it will live on for generations to come and us being good stewards of our environment ensures us a healthy future. Thank you, enjoy the park today. Thank you, Richard. So that's the culmination of the formal speakers, but we've got a formal act we need to do and cut the ribbon to declare the park open. So mayor and commissioners, if you would come up, please. And Sean is ready in the back to uh, activate the water park when we cut the ribbon. And the water is flowing. Thank you all for being here today.